Ooh, what's up guys, and welcome to another video from me, the Scarender, and uh, yeah, we had a tier change of course from Smuggler, and I'm sorry for being this late, uh, really, with this video, I know a lot of you guys have been asking where it is, you know, my thoughts and whatnot, and well, here we are, um, not the biggest change this time, now, we will, of course, um, mention how f close it was for... Uh, Actually, Sylvian, Sylvia, and Conkelder to actually drop out of OU to UU. They were actually so close, or at least Conkelder was, that um, it almost dropped. The rate line here is at 3.4, and it's at 3.4 and 15%. I don't really know how much usage that is, but we can all assume that it's at least is close enough for at least for February to actually drop. Uh, so, with that said, we're actually going to drop, go to the um, list itself and actually talk about, uh, you know, what's going on really and what happened. Now, the biggest change, at least for me, is of course Gramble leaving NU for RU. Now, Gramble's a Pokemon that naturally has been very, very strong and potent in the NU, and um, it's gonna leave a big hole in NU because he was probably the best, or at least most natural counter for Salk, which already is a very, very nice revenge killer in, uh, um, in the NU tier, so uh, I don't know what this will mean, though I will assume that Sork, due to that, has a potential of actually rising to RU, but that is, as far as we know, only speculations. I uh, really hope um, we'll get some better response of Gram or for and Sork in the future. Um, this is actually gonna leave up for problems. Most likely Weezing is gonna see a rise of usage, and even Pelipper to some extent. But, um, yeah, that's actually a big deal. Uh, next one is Dragalgi going from UU to RU, but due to it being banned in RU, it's actually going to be BL2, which means that in theory it's still, well, it's actually still R UU. <laughs> uh, the other Pokemon, which is not going to be a major thing due to me not playing those tier, but Executor and Porn Yard dropping back to PU from NU. Uh, I don't know how potent they are, so I can't really comment too much about it. Uh, Obama Snow drop from UU to RU. Uh, something about that is telling me that it's going to rise again. Uh, the reason it actually was rising in uh, RU was because it was actually fairly potent. And uh, that still holds up. Like, that's still uh, a, ma a main issue, really. So, um, I've almost known RU is definitely going to be uh, interesting, but we've already seen how much it dominates <laughs> since previous time. I might be wrong, though, but uh, hardly, I hardly think so. That goes with Sloking, too, dropping from UU to RU. Also one of those Pokemon that just has so much go go for it going on that it is definitely in the middle ground when it comes to both UU and RU, and dropping to RU might be better for it, but it still is strong enough to actually reside in UU. Uh, Gorby is dropping from uh, NU to, R to PU, most likely because of the um, Shell Pass being banned. Uh, I can't really comment too much about it. I like I said, I am not a PU player, so I don't know how much or what that means. Um, Gothas Hell dropped also from NU to PU. Like I said, I don't know. Some, same thing with Buffalins. Can't really comment too much about that. Uh, then we got Zapdos. Zapdos being really cool, dropping from OU to UU. Uh, a lot of people saw this one coming. Uh, been some complaining about uh, that uh, um, UU got, uh, which is already a solid tier, got more solid. Uh, I myself think the Zapdos is an uh, excellent uh, Pokemon to uh, kind of speed things up. It is uh, definitely not a Pokemon for the um, Crocume battle, if anything. And just in general, Zapdos uh, has a natural good coverage and is uh, definitely going to work well in UU. Now, I will believe that's going to be used enough to rise again, but um, hopefully not, because Zapdos really needs, or, or is really needing UU for um, some coverage. It definitely will work out really well, uh, since, of course, the Mega Pidgeot is gone and whatnot. Now, the biggest change, and probably the change that people are talking about the most, is Medicham and Pinsir actually rising to OU. And I didn't understand it at first. Uh, I talked with Enter and I talked with Alice about it. And the reason they actually rise so high was not necessarily that we used too much in NU and RU for it to rise. It was that they were used enough in the OU. The Mega Form was used enough in the higher tiers that made the Pokemon itself actually move up. That is, that they are used more than 3.4% of every team, which means that they are forced to the Pokemon itself being used that much to actually rise above it. So I know a lot of people were questioning why that would happen, but it actually makes sense when you think about it. 
uh, then tier change is because of the wide range of usage. Pinsir and Meditam just represent that, and therefore the real, pretty much the leap uh, that they made. Now, Meditam seems really, really, really think got so high. Pinsir makes kind of sense. It's actually been working really well right now in OU. Uh, I do believe Medisham works well too. It just it has so many, um, so many Pokemon that are just like that that I I was really surprised to see it rise so high. But that's really about it. It's not the biggest change in the tier, if anything. But it's definitely interesting. And like I said, seeing Gramble rise to NU to RU is um, it's gonna reflect really bad on NU or not reflect, but it's gonna make NU tougher. Um, it's gonna be much more sweeper heavy, and um, we'll just have to find out if uh, Gramble even comes back. Gramble is actually pretty decent in RE2, but uh, it definitely was a superb Pokemon in NU. Um, but yeah, guys, that will actually finish off this video. Hope you enjoyed it, of course, and of course, leave your own thoughts. You know what all the tier changes, and what's what what do you think about, and what change means the most for you. So with all that in mind, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, guys, take care. Bye.